When a small naval base, INS Jatayu, will be commissioned at Minikoy Island in Lakshadweep on the 6th of March. This is a part of the government's plan to boost military presence in Lakshadweep. According to Navy officers, the base will facilitate efforts towards anti-piracy and anti-narcotics operations in the Western Arabian Sea. INS Jatayu is said to be the second naval base in Lakshadweep after INS Dweep uh, Prakashak in Kavarati. Navy officers further stated that the Navy will strengthen its foothold in the Lakshadweep Islands and along with extending operations surveillance, it will usher in a new era of capacity building and comprehensive development of island territories. Again, very important developments. Major General A.K. Sivich with us, Robinja Sajdev also with us on the broadcast and Group Captain U.K. Devnath. Let me begin with Group Captain U.K. Devnath. Group Captain Devnath, uh, big developments. There's a second naval base coming up in uh, Minikoy Island on Lakshwadeep and all of these developments are also taking place while there are developments with Maldives in the region. Uh, yes, Devika, uh, this, development, uh, this development was uh, on the card for last one decade. India recognized, Indian Navy recognized long time ago that in case we have to keep a close watch on all the shipping activities in Arabian Sea, then we need a forward deployment post. Presently, uh, uh, earlier, uh, all our ships for uh, uh, surveillance uh, patrolling duties in Arabian Sea were getting launched from seaport at Mumbai, uh, at Cochin. Now, uh, with the uh, installation of uh, sufficient infrastructure at INS Jatayu, uh, we will be able to forward deploy our uh, small patrolling aircraft as well as our ships uh, next to uh, Minikoy. And geographically, as you rightly brought out, uh, it is very close to Maldives. Maldives government at present is uh, trying to invite Chinese uh, activities, especially Chinese uh, spy ships which visited Maldives' uh, um, ec exclusive economic zone last uh, month. So in view of that, this deployment of Indian Navy um, ships and aircraft uh, at a forward location close to Maldives will go in a long way in ensuring that uh, we get uh, our we are able to keep a surveillance on uh, shipping activities by mischievous navies especially chinese navy uh, around um, uh, maldives uh, one more uh, small requirement uh, is there uh, which is advanced positioning of logistics materials at uh, ins uh, jatayu uh, uh, what happens uh, ships need to be replenished with food oil and other consumable items at regular interval so establishment of uh, INS Jatayu will ensure that our ships who are operating from uh, in uh, Arabian Sea all the way sometimes up to Red Sea and Gulf of Persia uh, are able to replenish uh, their uh, uh, logistics supplies especially for consumable items like food medicine and uh, fuel from INS Jatayu yes Devika yes sir I'll bring you back in just a moment. Rabindra Sachdev also with us. Rabindra, what do you make of these uh, particular developments? As Group Captain Yuki Devnath also pointed out, this was on the cards uh, for the past decade or so. But do you feel that developments with the Maldives have also then propelled India uh, to really just take the plunge and take this project forward uh, once and for all? Uh, thank you, Devika. I mean, partly, yes, we could say because the Maldives issue is forming a certain background. But generally speaking, you know, projects which are planned out take their own time for, you know, the, the, the gestation. Okay, sure, some of it may have been accelerated, but, you know, I would not think that within three months, India will set up a huge complete naval base with all due planning, right? So the process and planning must have been and has been in the works one. Uh, secondly, yeah, it is. You see, India is now, uh, uh, of course, becoming a heavier weight in geopolitics, in global economy, global trade. By the way, uh, the, the Minikoy Islands sit on a very interesting sea line of communications. To the south of the Minikoy is Maldives, to the north is the Lakshwadeep Islands. Minikoy is the south, southernmost of the Lakshwadeep, right? Between these two, you know, channels, you could say one is known as a nine degree channel, the other eight degree channel, most of the international trade flows through this, the shipping lines, right? So, not to say it's a choke point, no, not at all, but the movement is here of commercial uh, sea traffic. 
So for India to be here as well as to project its ability, right now I think we have around 10 warships in the Western Arabian Sea region. At present, I think we have deployed, right? For various purposes like, you know, for first responders or given the Houthi situations and the, uh, the piracy by the pirates. So India now, as we are, you know, growing, we have to play a bigger role in our region. It's a logical, natural progress and progression, I would say. And it's something, by the way, which let's say a lot of our partners have been pushing us, sure. US included, uh, that India play a bigger role in this region, right? Okay, they have their own interest for, you know, Najik is on, but we have our own interest and our own realization that for us to have a, you know, wider influence, if not influence and ability, we need to have a blue water navy or a navy which can reach far as far as further we can at the same time we should have the ability to monitor or you know be able to counter if and when god forbid needed the chinese maritime expansionism towards uh, you know the bay of bengal the arabian sea and circling of india which they are doing so a mix of both these things is uh, incumbent upon us i think as a uh, as a nation and yes uh, the maldives situation so therefore in that whole context the maldives issue can be, you know, said definitely forms a part of the mosaic or the background, but it's not the Maldives issue, it's the bigger issue, the bigger picture for India in terms of our own, own you know, sovereignty, protection uh, and related. Absolutely. I'll bring you back into the conversation. Major E.K. Sivach, uh, just taking that thought forward, as far as uh, larger developments and the larger vision for the Indo-Pacific is concerned, and as Rabindra Sajdev also pointed out, that there are our allies who want us to play a much bigger role. Uh, and India has also shown now in the past few months itself with the anti-piracy operations that we definitely are going to be looking for the interests uh, of the free world uh, and we will continue to protect uh, the seas. How crucial do you feel INS Jatayu then becomes uh, with the, keeping this thought in mind? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, the point which is very important, uh, Devika, is uh, Indian Ocean, where 60 to 70 percent of the trade goes through that, and China is trying to now come in a big way in, in Indian Ocean. And India is now trying to become a blue water navy. The point is that Andaman, Nicobar, we have developed that. Now we have got our base uh, also in uh, Campbell Bay. And we can now exploit even uh, up till uh, Malacca State, which Chinese knows. But what is happening as far as the uh, Arabian Sea is concerned, we have to be very, very careful that uh, till now it was basically dominated by the US and the China more. We have now started exploiting it. We are now saying that we must also develop these islands and especially Lakshadi. And that is where uh, the importance is coming. And this island Jatau, which we are going to make it, uh, basically will have a dual purpose. One is that domestically islands, which is about 35 islands in Lakshadi, must develop uh, from a uh, defense point of view as well as from the economy point of view. So what we are trying to bring out this issue is that in case we feel that the Maldive, uh, you cannot depend upon that and Maldive is coming closer to the China and to counter that you must able to now not only develop Andaman Nicobar Islands uh, but also you should able to develop basically in the Arabian Sea. And this is why we are now start developing Lakshadip, which we have not paid attention for too long. And now we have realized that we must develop and it should be in a manner that we have a dual purpose. One is that we in, improve domestically its business point of view and also from the military point of view. Remember that as far as India is concerned, we are the one which is the one which help out all the countries whenever there is a problem and we are the first responder and we have a capability of playing this game so as on today what we are trying to bring out as far as india is concerned from a uh, brown water technology we want to become a blue water uh, navy and this is a beginning of that and we have paid a lot of attention to andaman nicobar where we have made a, a island 
all these islands are now developed in a manner that we are now basically dominating the Indian Ocean and the Chinese know that we can dominate and also block them in Malacca state. But what was happening in Arabian Sea, we have not able to develop Lakshadweep as we should have done. But now we have realized the importance of Lakshadweep and therefore we have now started developing. This will be the second air base which we have now developed of INS Jatau in uh, Minikoi Island. This will have a tremendous impact and you will find it that we will able to now establish and we will able to counter what the China is trying to come in Maldives. So therefore, this is a good beginning and this will change the fate of it because India is one country which is the first responder and also provide the security for all activities which are taking place in the Indian Ocean. So I suppose in time to come, you'll find it, India will go in a big way and trying to develop its Navy in Indian Ocean so that we become a, a real blue water Navy and able to counter the Chinese especially, which are trying its best to become a big power in Indian Ocean. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.